Hello friends, I'm Officer Allen with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and I am here with Blue for Books to read for you today. So the book that we're gonna read first is called Clifford Visits the Zoo. I'm Emily Elizabeth and this is my dog. His name is Clifford. Today we are going to the zoo. How many of you have a dog? And what kind of dog is Clifford? I know that Clifford is the red dog. What kind of dog do you have? The people at the zoo have never seen anything like Clifford. The first animals we see are penguins. The penguins are small and Clifford is very, very big. Next we see koalas. They are sleeping. Clifford is wide awake. He does a silly dance and wake up the koalas. How many of you can do a silly dance? I can do a silly dance. Look at the butterflies. They are light as a feather. Not like Clifford, he is very heavy. Then we see a hippo taking a mud bath. He is dirty. Clifford does not like that. He'd rather be clean. What's the sound? It's the noisy holler monkeys. <laughs> Clifford likes to be quiet and listen. How many times have your parents said, be quiet? and listen. Then we pass the sloths. They move very slow. Not like Clifford, he can run quickly. Later we see a tortoise. He has a hard shell. Clifford's fur is so soft. Look at the birds. They are high up in the tree. Clifford is down on the ground. So we have one in the sky and one on the ground. The chameleon has a curly tail. Clifford's tail is straight. Can you tell me what a chameleon is? Finally, we visit the seals. Seals love being wet. Clifford is dry. Oh, the seal splashes the water on Clifford. Now Clifford is wet. Clifford is lots of things. He is big, fast, soft, and most of all, he is loved. So now we're gonna learn a little bit about who can remember what animals were in the book. So we're gonna tell you a little bit about them. So we have the penguins. Penguins are birds that can, cannot fly. They mostly live in southern, the southern hemisphere, which includes cold Antarctica and warmer places like Australia and South Africa. Koalas. Koalas live in Australia. They love to eat eucalyptus, which grows on trees. Koalas can sleep up to 18 hours a day. How many of you can sleep 18 hours a day? I think I might can. Monarch butterflies. Monarch butterflies are famous for flying 3,000 miles to escape the cold. Wow, that's far. Winter weather in North Africa. And, the, and these butterflies don't travel all alone. They go by the millions. Okay, next we have the hippopotamus live in Africa. They can spend up to 16 hours a day in rivers and lakes. They do this to keep cool under the hot sun. We live in Florida, so we know how the sun is. 
Holler monkeys can be found in tropical Central and South America. These monkeys' cries can be heard for up to three miles away. Wow, that's far. Next, we have the sloths, are the world's slowest mammals. They live in South America's rainforest and spend most of their time hanging from branches by their long claws. Then we have the tortoise. The tortoise lives on land and can be found mostly in, southern, in the southern hemisphere where it is warm. Tortoise have a hard outer shell to protect from the predators. Next we have the birds. Birds have feathers, wings, and lay eggs. They can be found across the globe. The smallest bird is a hummingbird, and it's two inches long. That's really, really small. The largest bird is the ostrich, and it is nine feet tall. Chameleons are a kind of lizard. Most than half of the chameleons live in Madagascar, an island near Africa. Chameleons can change their colors as a way to hide from predators. Seals. Seals live all over the world. They spend time on land and in the water. Some seals can hold their breath under water for nearly two hours. Wow. And this is the end of Clifford Visits the Zoo.